Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Today's episode, we are going to be going back to the Misty World. All right, let's go ahead and look at the quests. I'm in a new weird dimension now, and I need to orientate. This planet is very foggy all over, but has some elevated areas above the fog with some plant life. I revamped my compass to be able to locate biomes. I need saplings from those trees, though. I found out that I need to break the smallest targetable branch directly adjacent to leaves to be able to get them. Alright, so we need to make the nature's compass. So we need four of these saplings from the Misty World. Now, it did take me a little while to get these. They are pretty rare. And like it says, you have to target... Oops, I guess I should go ahead and make the compass. Like they say, you have to go ahead and target the smallest branch. Now let's go ahead and get four of these. All right. And they are pretty rare. I had to cut down half a dozen trees before I got the four saplings. All right, so let's look. Ooh, good. Faster digging. Haste upgrade. Ooh. This foggy stone is ridiculously hard. I need a faster pickaxe. I should add some haste upgrades to my flexible pickaxe. Alright, so haste. I think I need redstone blocks, a brick, and something else. Glowstone. Alright, do I already have these haste upgrades? Haha. <laughs> I already made them. Alright, hard metal. I think this is a tongue twister on purpose. At the abyss, I found amidst the mist layer, some special ore that seems to spawn at the lower mist levels. I need to gather some of that. I call it Neobium. This metal is much better capable of going through the foggy stone material, which is otherwise hard to break. Alright, so we need some of this ore. Now, I actually already found some of this in between episodes, and I already made the pick. Alright, so we are going to have to go get some of that. And what's another quest? Hmm, so we got the haste upgrade. Ooh, gravel. Yeah, this stuff is actually pretty easy to get. I figured out a great way to get the gravel. Uh, let's see, we need to go up and get my pick. Like I said, I am looking forward to doing a lot of exploring in the Misty World. All right, so let's go ahead and warp there. Let's see, Misty. All right, I did make a magnet ring, and another thing I did was I got a flight totem, so I can fly now. All right, so in between episodes, I actually explored this whole area. Now, this darker color is actually down below, so we are on this huge island, basically, and then the fog is down below. And I'm not sure. What is this orange stuff over here? Is this lava? I really want to go check that out. All right, but anyway, so what you're going to do... Ooh, endermite. Oh, let me kill this drone. All right, now I said in the last episode that a lot of people disabled the um, drone mod. And then I corrected it. Come on. And I said that it was a couple of people. Then, um, Joseph Esperito, I think is how you pronounce his name, um, reminded me that the drone mod has some sort of conflict with compact machines, which will cause you to crash when you go into compact machines. So you might actually want to remove the drones. All right. Now... You can get redstone and iron from them, but I really don't need them for that because I already have ways to get iron and redstone. Let's go ahead and eat. All right, let's drop down here. I want to see, does this mine? Ooh, yeah. All right, so we got filter coal. Level of pollution, 0%. So we can use that for the respirator. All right, now... Flight is great here because you can just hop off the edge like this and run around and look for some of that ore. There's some right there. 
All right, so let's see. Does it mine faster with this? Or can I go... Let's see. I'm only going to be able to put two haste upgrades in here. All right, we'll go ahead and put the third one in here. Now let's go ahead and mine this. All right, so with the fog, I did actually go exploring down in the fog. I believe... It looks like it may just damage your armor if you don't have a respirator. I was actually regenerating. In fact, why not just go? So you can see I'm regenerating faster than I'm losing health. Ooh, grab this. Aha, nice. So now if we were to dig down here like this, check this out. There is tons of gravel here. All right, so let's go ahead and warp back. I think I will build in that dimension just because it is a nice dimension. All right, so let's go back and finish this quest. All right, so we got the ore, we have a pickaxe, and I did enchant that. I have efficiency four on it. All right, so let's go, and we're gonna do the more sieving. The gravel I found, especially at border biomes near the down biome, has some interesting properties. I wonder what I can find when sieving. I especially found some ender dust. Maybe I can refine it with my condenser. All right, so yeah, making ender pearls is actually fairly easy right now because with the signalium casing and the condenser, for each of the ender dust that I put in there, I get about 11 ender pearls. So you can see, yeah, I got a lot of ender pearls right now. So let's just throw that in there. Let's fly back over here. And I also did get a speed totem, which has come in handy. Oh, that reminds me. Um, before I forget, with the carry on mod, um, you can shift right click and pick up a chest like this. What you do not want to do I wanted to put one over here and I had some shelves on the wall and I left clicked to break it up and the chest disappeared out of my hand. Well, when I broke this, the chest appeared on the wall like it should have, but it was empty. So it destroyed all the items in my chest. So don't try and break something up while you're using the carry on mod. You can lose items. All right, so, ooh, interesting. Can I like, ooh, precipitation, rain, snow, snow. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Crystal chasm? So can I like, ooh, I can. Okay, yeah, we definitely gotta go do this. All right, so let's see, blocks go in here. All right, we have filter coal. Let's go ahead and look at the breathing things. I need to breathe. Going into the mist layer makes it hard to breathe. I need some breathing aid. I wonder if I can use the coal that I found as a filter material for the mist. To be able to mine the filter coal, I need to use a neobium pickaxe. All right, so we need to make a respirator and we have the filter coal. All right respirator so what do we need to make this all right so leather uh let's see this chest one two three come on three and i need string oops all right well i know where to get string let's fly over here grab some of this do this oops there we go, and we should be good to go. Now what is in the top left hand right now? Ooh, not found, interesting. All right, so I think the respirator was what, like this? Nope, there we go. I don't know why it's down there. It should be like up here. Actually, I would think it would be like that, but you know. Or how do we do this? I've never actually used it. There we go. You open it and put the coal in. All right, now 
can I wear this in the bobble slot or do I actually have to wear it? That's annoying. All right, let's put that in there. Oops, that's mob. That could be considered mob drops. This poison extract, you can use that to make the lifespan upgrade for the Gendistry apiaries. You can also use it for the poison upgrade for your tools. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff in here. Uh, we'll keep that pick and we'll keep the helmet, get rid of the mask. All right, so let's go ahead and eat and then head back. There we go. So what happens if we follow this compass? I'm really looking forward to exploring this dimension. What biome is this? Ooh. Okay, that's just a small stone. Yeah, I may end up disabling the drones. They're really not that much of a challenge. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they're not really that much of a challenge, and if they're going to cause crashing problems, then I really don't want them around. So if it causes a crash, I don't feel guilty removing it from the pack. Especially since it's not really, you know, causing me issues. Okay, yeah, so we already did this. We can finish this quest out. Come on. Oh, we need ender pearls. Are you kidding me? We'll have to do that before the end of the episode, hopefully. All right, can we find a crystal biome? Whoa, come on. All right, so it's still saying crystal biome this way. Down swamp, down border. Okay, meadow. Whoa, my compass went this way. Hmm. What is this? Is that some sort of sand? Yeah, it's just sand. All right. So my compass is saying, like, right here. Interesting. Okay, we're going to warp back. All right, so let's run over here, grab an ender pearl, and we can finish out that quest. Okay, come on, detect. All right. That is done. Ooh. Staying longer in the mist. Interesting. So yeah, we're going to have to do some more of this. Ooh, we're going to be getting into the miniaturization, which means that we can start making the thermal expansion machines. Why couldn't we make these before? Well, the machine frames, you actually need to do multi-block miniaturization in order to build these. So you need 20 iron pipes, you need glass, block a tin, throw a topaz in there, and you get a machine frame. Now, it's actually a three-dimensional thing. Like, you actually set up an area, and you have these machines that project a field around it. All right, and then you do that, and then it actually shrinks the block down. It's a really cool animation. You can watch everything happen. Um, it adds a lot more depth to it. I also need to make the automatic engineer's workbench, or there's some kind of automatic workbench. I need to work on that. There are quite a few things. Yeah, see, after this, we'll get into the thermal expansion. Ooh, it looks like... Ooh... We're going to be able to make some miners pretty soon, I think. So that is going to be cool. Those are going to take a lot of power, but we can make dynamos, all right? We can make steam dynamos, and we can power them. Once we get the pulverizer, we can take the burnium ore that we got from the nether, crush it down into powder, and then use it as a fuel in a steam dynamo, or we can use the magmatic dynamo. All right. Um, another one is the reactant dynamo. Check this out. I realized this the other day, and I'm like, oh, I can make lots of power. Glowstone is dirt cheap. All right, so we can smelt it down and use that, and we can use it with nether wart, which is 
easy to get to. You use your vein miner on your axe pick vel or whatever, and you just break all the nether wart and then just replace it real quick and you're good to go. 125,000 RF you get from a tenth of a bucket of energized glowstone and a nether wart. Now it is going to be pretty slow, probably like 40 RF per tick, I think, without upgrades. So yeah, that would be pretty long lasting, I would think. All right. So yeah, we got quite a bit accomplished today. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.